My name is Andra Petron. I work with solid state physics, which involves superconductors and thin films, and I've been at Austin College since 2004. My name is David Whelan. I'm a professor of physics. My area of study is stellar astronomy, and I've been here since 2014. We have three other members in the department. We have the planetary scientist, we have an astronomer, and we will get a new colleague who studies dark matter in the universe. Our students who are interested in engineering physics, uh, the thing that I want them to know most is that they will learn physics by doing physics. It will be hands-on. We teach in a workshop model, which means that students work together in groups. They do experiments, they draw conclusions, they derive formulas. So it's not lecture and lab separate, they're combined. The most important skill I think I gained from workshop physics was the perseverance that is necessary and failing forward. And so in that way, I think there's this really powerful notion of learning to make the discoveries alongside. And because of the type of relationship that workshop physics builds with the faculty and the TA, you're able to have a really open and awesome communication. We have a few classes that are popular with students. We have a class called Advanced Instrumentation and Robotics, in which students use a variety of sensors and actuators to investigate the real world and to work on robots. So that's a very popular class. The engineering course that I think most of our students are most excited about is our statics and engineering design course. Half of the course is dedicated to learning how materials work and how bridges stand and how roads work. The other half of the class is using computer-aided design to ask a question that needs an answer. How do they design something and then build a solution? It's one of our most exciting courses for majors. The hallmarks of our program here in engineering physics are the electronics lab, which offer state-of-the-art exposure to the kinds of equipment that they will see later in their careers. Another facility that we have is our Adams Observatory, which houses a 24-inch telescope, which is one of the largest research telescopes in North Texas. This telescope is used by students as part of their research. Uh, it is also used in some of our classes. Something special that I was able to do at Austin College was being able to work at the Adams Observatory and being able to verify a multitude of planets using the Adams Observatory's telescope. And we were able to contribute to NASA saying, hey, this is actually a planet, uh, look more into this. Being able to do research that you almost dream about with NASA was something super special to do at a small liberal arts college like Austin College. We've had students go to a variety of schools. They go to graduate school in physics, they go to engineering programs, or they do a master's or a PhD, uh, and they also enter the workforce. For the students who choose to go on for master's level coursework, they are admitted oftentimes into the biggest and best programs in the state and in the region. Those students who go straight into the workplace, they can oftentimes find jobs in the area. Hi, my name is Diego Sanchez. I am a recent graduate from Austin College, graduated in fall of 22 with an engineering physics degree. I currently am working for Spectrum Brands as a process engineer. Engineering is essentially professional problem solving, so the most important thing that Austin College taught me was the critical thinking aspect of engineering. At Austin College, we are dedicated to preparing you for a successful career in engineering. At Austin College, we don't just teach students. We train scientists and engineers for the 21st century.